You know, when I first saw this thing on the dev server, I thought this is straight out of Command & Conquer. And as it turns out, that's actually true. There is a vehicle in Command & Conquer that's based on a G6 Rhino. Granted, it's from a game I never played, but I still think it's pretty funny. Anyway, this vehicle is pretty interesting. In typical South African fashion, it is a wheeled vehicle, but it's also the heaviest wheeled vehicle in the game. It also gets a proximity-fused HE round, which has the same penetration as its regular HE round. So, I'm gonna load all proximity, and it should be able to act as both a tank destroyer and an SPAA. The uh, acceleration is not great. 46 tons, but 500 horsepower. I wouldn't recommend taking more than 16 rounds if you do play this, because uh, if you take more than that, it fills the bumpers with ammo. Be funny if they made it so that if you, like, if you crashed into something, it could set off the ammo in the bumper. <laughs> could you just go up and ram somebody, like a VBID? This handles very oddly. It's almost as if it's lagging, but my ping is 40 and my packet loss is zero. I think there's a weasel in front of us. Oh. So yeah, not a great start. You know, you'd think this would be faster in sand. Like, isn't this the environment it was pretty much made for? Let's see if we can hit his cupola. Does the proximity, does it fuse on metal? I thought it only fused on aircraft. Okay, well it killed that. I, I, I don't understand. I think we're hitting it in the turret, but it doesn't seem to really be doing anything. Oh, there's a plane. Let's see if we can... Uh... Nope. I'm not very good with estimating lead against aircraft, but hopefully... Um, I think we'll get him here. Or not. Yeah, that was like the easiest shot to make and I still messed it up. Oh, that got him. Ooh, that was a bit nasty. The turret traverse is kind of limiting though. Probably the biggest issue with this thing. Um, okay. Jeez. That was so loud. Oh my god, that scared me. Yep, that's War Thunder for you. This map does not seem ideal for a very slow, relatively low velocity vehicle with no laser rangefinder. I am probably gonna get sniped right away. Say that's like 900 meters? Excuse me? I feel like a 155 high explosive round hitting a BMP directly should probably kill it. I don't even know what happened there. It's okay. It, it's playing a gravel noise even though I'm not moving at all. Ooh. That got him. I've encountered the BTRZ a total of maybe four times so far, and every single time has been annoying. Range is that. Not oh, great. Seems I upset somebody. Please kill MP51. Get him. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Man, I hate planes so much. I really don't get how this thing is so slow on sand. Yeah, he didn't stand much of a chance. I feel like we could have missed him and it still would have killed him. Oh! <laughs> oh, back up. Got a little bit too cocky there. Yeah, not a bad vehicle by any means, but overpressure can just be so inconsistent sometimes. What? What is slowing you down? 
It's a paved road. Please stop. Please stop running into me. Jeez, dude. This game would be so much better if they just made it more consistent in every aspect. This is probably one of the most inconsistent games I have ever played. Oh, come on. What? That thing's made of aluminum, I think. How on earth is a light tank not being utterly destroyed by that? The T-92 is made out of paper. Getting smacked with two high explosive artillery rounds should just crumple it. This thing is just making me sad. <laughs> oh, never mind, he's still flying. That apparently didn't phase him. He, he, he just got another kill. Oh, three kills. So cool. I love this game so much. It's so good. A proxy round that big exploding next to a helicopter doesn't kill the pilot? It only takes off his tail and he can fly perfectly fine. <laughs> Absolutely annihilated. Excuse me, what? Am I gonna kill myself if I do this? He, he's already repaired? It, what? Excuse me? And that didn't overpressure him. I don't understand how you can make a vehicle that is annoying to fight, but also incredibly annoying to play. Like, the entire gimmick with this thing is that you shouldn't have to aim. A light vehicle should not be surviving two shots from 155 artillery. This should not be a thing that's up for debate. How? How does hitting his cupola... What? What? It... We... The... The bombs! What? Is this thing immune to overpressure damage? I... I'm done playing this thing. It's... It is incredibly inconsistent. You know, if you, if you like funny big boom vehicles like this, I'd say get it, but... If you want to, like, have a really effective vehicle in your lineup, I would not recommend taking this. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.